Hello everyone, and welcome back to the DR Mare channel. If you've been following along, you know I've been diving into Spicetify lately. In my last video, I showed you how to get it set up on your system. If you haven't watched that yet, or if you're having trouble with the installation, be sure to check it out. Today I want to share some cool new things I've discovered about Spicetify, as well as a follow-up on how to install apps, which I didn't get to cover in the last video. Let's start with how to install apps in Spicetify. The official Spicetify apps are the easiest ones to set up. Head over to the official installation page of Spicetify, click on the Custom Apps tab, and you'll see three apps they support, Reddit, New Releases, and Lyrics Plus. The installation commands are right there on the page. Just copy and paste them into your terminal, and you're good to go. I have already installed it here, so this prompt will appear. As long as there are no red error messages in your terminal, everything is fine. If you want to uninstall them later, it's simple. Just add a hyphen after the app name in the command and run it again with spice to fi apply. After you install them, they will appear in the left sidebar of Spotify. For example, I installed the Lyrics Plus app here. Personally, I feel that Lyrics Plus is the most useful of the three apps because it can fetch lyrics for the currently playing song from the internet. Even if Spotify itself doesn't have lyrics for a song, it can get them from a third party and display them to the user. For example, this song doesn't have lyrics in Spotify, but through this app, you can get the lyrics from a third party. This is a game changer, especially when you're listening to music that doesn't have lyrics on Spotify itself. Lyrics Plus has become my go-to solution for this, and it even offers three different display modes, karaoke, synced, and unsynced. Next, let's talk about installing apps from the Spice to Fi marketplace. This is a bit trickier, as you can't just install them directly from the command line like the official apps. But don't worry, it's still pretty straightforward. I've tried all the apps in the marketplace, and the only one I found really interesting is the Visualizer app. It has a cool glowing sphere that reacts to your music. Feel free to explore the other apps and see if any of them are useful for you. To show you how it's done, let's install the Visualizer app. Go to the Spicetify Marketplace Apps page. Click on the GitHub icon for the app you want. And scroll down to the installation instructions. First, use the Spicetify config dir command to find your Spicetify folder. Then, download the app's zip file, extract it, and put the extracted files into the Spicetify folder. Here I've already moved the extracted folder in this spice. To find custom apps folder, copy the folder name. Finally, use the regular spicetify command in your terminal to install the app. Make sure the app name in the command matches the name of the folder you put in the spicetify directory, or it won't install correctly. Once it's installed, restart Spotify, and you'll see the app's icon in the sidebar. Click it to switch to the app's view. The main difference between installing apps from the Spicetify Marketplace and the official Spicetify apps is that Marketplace apps usually require you to download and extract a zip file, whereas official apps can be installed directly from the command line. Also, be aware that sometimes the command given on the app's GitHub page might not match the name of the extracted folder. Just make sure the app name you execute in command prompt is the same as your app's folder name, and you'll be fine. Now, 
for some fun new Spice to Fi tricks I've discovered. First, I realized that many themes have built-in variants. You can change your theme to its variants in Marketplace. By clicking on these variants, you can change the theme's colors. I thought each theme only had one color scheme, but this opens up a whole new world of options. I've tried all the themes, and my two favorites are Starry Light, which I mentioned in my last video, and Comfy. Starry Light is visually stunning, with color changes and even a shooting star animation, and it has tons of built-in variants. Comfy is highly customizable, allowing you to change the position and display of most elements in the Spotify client. Feel free to customize your Spotify client with just a few clicks. That's all for today. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel. See you in the next one.